Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is the last video for Office 365 Administrator course and today we will be discussing some of the troubleshooting uh, methods for OneDrive and other issues or basically you can call it the help desk or IT calls that you're going to be getting in a real world. So the first one is pretty basic one. People will definitely ask you when you go to portal.office.com how do you install Office 2000 15, thir sorry, 13 or 16. So mm, it's pretty simple right here. Just click on install now, and then basically they will save file. Once this file is saved, you'll basically click on this. And once they get the message, then they just run it. And some of the time people would get, uh, you know, problems with installing this. Uh, most of the time it's either people are using Wi-Fi or some other uh, networking uh, you might want to tell them that this is something that sh they should try on on a, on a connection that is stable because if it's running uh, computers can go to sleep laptops can go to sleep mode or other things like that if it's a really slow network it can take a lot of time so people will get impatient and then they will start either closing things down in the middle while it's installing and things can get messed up. That's where people will find a lot of problems. So I click on next. I'm just gonna click no thanks for now because I don't want to install. And until you get a message where it says like you know in the background it's actually getting installed. You can sign th into this thing, but you, I will just say prefer no next. I say no thank you, and then it will bas basically you know finish the installation. Now one thing that's happening be behind the scene over here first is giving you all the office and everything um, this is how you install it but this also gives you OneDrive which is important t uh, important piece in this whole troubleshooting because you know most of the people will be using Office 365 with the OneDrive it's really important right? Like this is why they have this whole thing other than that it, it's kind of like just email it's the same as uh, OWA that they had before so now they have this one drive the documents are the main thing over here so it comes with a lot of um, uh, calls for your help desk or IT people now what if one drive is not working syncing is not working maybe there's an issue going on from the Microsoft side or maybe there's an issue going on, on the computers now there's a lot of things that can go wrong and, and let me tell you guys that syncing is really not good at this point right now Microsoft is trying hard but um, it's not like Dropbox so from my personal experience from the people that I work with not a good experience so far hopefully they they're getting it better I'm not saying it's not it's not good it's definitely had a lot of uh, um, some positive things but syncing they need to work on this because uh, as an IT person if if one IT person works on uh, with a user to fix a syncing issue and it takes about three to four hours that's an issue that's a pretty big issue Alright, so once everything is finished, you just click on All Done. So if you want to check if it's installed, if you click right here, it tells you right here, Recently Added, and I can open my Word right now. And this is what people will get most of the time, so just click, click No. And what you want to do is click Sign In here, and then you can put the email address and the password uh, for this account now with this also you can get some calls if someone change a password sometimes it will cash in the old password and then when they open the word it will always prompt like this um, and it will not take the password so what you want to do is when a user sign in let me see if that works right now so if I put the username and the password I can log in here and you'll see the name and the email address you could basically come to switch account here and add another account if you want to or if you want to remove this uh, account and um, let's say you got the new password and you want to fix the problem you can come to account right here and do sign out and it will get this message right here you click yes once you click yes it will remove it you can restart the computer again and let the user log in or they can just click on sign in and that usually fix those type of issues when they change their passwords you might get some calls like that now if you click start over here you will notice something if you go to the file explorer right here you'll notice your OneDrive is over here this is not the OneDrive 
sometimes this could be with Windows One that's like the normal OneDrive which is Outlook, Hotmail and I think it comes with that but there's another one that's OneDrive for business and that's something that you will be getting when you start working with the company and to get that running you just click on the OneDrive option right here for a user let's say this user is logged in and I want to put a OneDrive on their machine I need to click on sync right here I'm gonna click on sync and then click sync now and then basically it tells you right here OneDrive for business remember it's not just OneDrive and if I click OK now it's going to add a OneDrive on the right side you guys can see it's doing its thing now this is where you will put the username and the password again so um, you will put the username and the password and it will start syncing so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so when you put the username and password it will start syncing it tells you right here decon I'm gonna go ahead and sync now and it starts syncing like this now everything will be awesome when you start in the beginning when you start when you set up a user for the first time everything will work smooth and nice and OneDrive works the problem will come when you really start using OneDrive and start syncing things and let's say for example if I add a file and this will start syncing since this is a temporary account this might not do any syncing right now but uh, when people upload a file here it will show up in your file explorer OneDrive for business and then it will show up right here when you put something here it will basically come to the portal now this is where the problem will be maybe you will face this if this issue is still not resolved um, that sometimes OneDrive stops syncing and really it, it, it you can do anything you can do a lot of troubleshooting but usually you will end up rebuilding OneDrive now just to be sure every time you come up to this scenario that you have to rebuild the OneDrive which you can go to let's say a user PC go to C drive go to users and go to the user account and this is where you'll see the OneDrive for business uh, folder now what you can do is you can basically copy this folder before you do anything now this is very important very 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 important because if you mess up something and you delete this and you recreated the sync what if you lose all the changes that a person did over here and it didn't sync to your portal that would be a disaster for you let's say for example this person is working with a OneDrive that's messy for let's say five days and he's not notice noticing it and he's adding everything and thinking everything is going to portal and you just go there and blow up this folder and just recreate the sync and you just got everything that was five days ago from your portal that's your server and you now just lost all the five days of work and there's no way to get it this is where you will really need to think about this you'll need to copy this folder put it somewhere else in your computer C drive wherever you want to back it up back it up first then you can just come back here to your OneDrive and you can just say uh, basically you can do a repair on it there's a repair option when you start it you'll see a repair option you can do a repair on that uh, pause syncing do a repair and maybe it will fix the issue sometimes it doesn't fix it you can just cut this whole documents in whatever folder is in there remove it from there put it somewhere else let's say I'm gonna put it on my document I'm gonna cut it here and you can come back to your OneDrive and then cut it back in there sometimes that reinitiate the sync again and that fixes the problem sometimes you might have a folder specifically uh, having a document that is actually not allowed on OneDrive there's actually you have to look at the OneDrive what's being allowed and what's not allowed so you can do a little quick search on on Microsoft or Google that what's really allowed on uh, for Microsoft OneDrive uh, there's a letter uh, limitation there's uh, some kind of uh, symbols and stuff like that and limitations there's actually a size limitation so you really need to know that before you do things like that now you really don't want to rebuild things and find out that oh there was just a size issue you just wasted all that time but sometimes you can come across that the sync option is really not working at all now at the end of this video I'm going to show you guys um, another place where you guys can check the whole syncing if there's another issues with the syncing so you guys can go to the PC go to the 
uh, program file and here you will go to the Microsoft Office Office 15 uh, actually maybe I got the 64 bit one sorry about that let's go back and program files Microsoft Office uh, maybe I don't have that on this one let me check that again maybe I have it this is like I don't have the license Microsoft so I'm not seeing that but if you have the Microsoft Office if you come to program file Office Office 15 you'll see a uh, file is called MS msosync.exe and that's the file basically that runs the sync so if you don't have that file and something is corrupted on that file you will never get the syncing working so far I mean I don't know if they're gonna change this but you'll see a little green line in here and that's gonna be moving sometimes that green light will be moving and you will notice that it will never go away and when you put your mouse on it you'll see that there are five folders five files still syncing now you need to find out this is one of the biggest issue and I'm, I really hate this that it doesn't tell you what file is being loaded right now it doesn't tell you that this is where the whole issue is right now and a lot of people are really not happy with this option that you know it's it says five files are not syncing it's still five files even after five hours and then you can't really figure out what's going on here and that's the problem with Microsoft OneDrive right now. And I think they're working on it. They're releasing some new release um, version of this thing and trying to fix that out. But like I said, if you guys see this kind of op this kind of files, the only best thing you can do is to come back and copy the file and put it somewhere, because that's gonna save you a big headache if you delete that and you just lost someone's emails and uh, sorry, someone's. Uh, editing files and all that that will be the biggest problem biggest headache for you so I would definitely copy it and then you can recreate it like I said it takes time it depends on wh how many files that user have and that will be the fix for one drive now other things that you guys need to work on is one drive usually connects to the server it usually every time a file is uploaded to the server it usually talks to an IP address and that IP address is you guys need to find out and give it to your network engineer or whoever is in charge of firewall stuff so let me see if they have something like that OneDrive OneDrive IP addresses so if you go to the list of IP addresses and URL um, Office 365 URL and IP addresses range. Let's click on that. When you click on this, um, URL and IP addresses. When you click on that, it'll go down. And here it is. Um, right here, it basically gives you the destination, the numbers, the what kind of ports does it use. Uh, when a when a person is logged in. You use all this so this is the information that your administrator needs to know and if you scroll down right here you see all these IP addresses all these links they need to be talking to internet because it goes back and forth back and forth every time it, the sync is initiated when it says syncing one file it goes to one of these IP addresses and then come back and get another file it keeps doing that till all the files are synced and that could create a problem if your firewall is not set up correctly if you have a firewall on your machine that is giving you some this really restrictive and things like that can also create problems and it's a huge list and like I said you have to really go over it and this is something that you will talk to your networking or security guy or maybe your manager to do this type of work for you um, if you're not a part of this team so hopefully this course is um, a really good starting for someone who is just wanting to know or basically even it's a little bit technical too but like I said we will be doing another course that's going to be extremely technical and hopefully you guys learned something from this course if you guys did uh, make sure this is a free course and your reviews do matter they makes um, a big difference for our platform please do review the course uh, and 
a project for certificate is for membership only this is the way only this is the only way we can support the whole platform and uh, and to do whatever we want to do in the future is through your uh, um, membership so hopefully you guys like this uh, course and don't forget to review thank you so much see you guys in different course